coverage you can count on. This is Wayne 15 News, Nightcast at 11. We begin this evening with an OWI crash that ended with a trailer explosion. Thanks for joining us. I'm Ethan Dolan. Angola Fire and Police Departments responded to a damaged property call at around 4 this afternoon. Police say a car crashed into a gas meter that was connected to a trailer residence after turning too sharply. After a gas leak was detected, the trailer exploded, leaving one officer hurt. Police say the driver is 66-year-old Jose Gonzalez, who was arrested on charges of operating while intoxicated. The officer was taken to a hospital and later released. A different crash today in DeKalb County leaves one man in critical condition. Police say a Ford Ranger was driving east on County Road 28 when the driver drifted off the road. While bringing the vehicle back onto the road, the driver overcorrected, causing the truck to roll two times. He was ejected from the truck, which led to a head injury. He was taken to a hospital in critical condition. Police believe speed to be a contributing factor. And we restock them on a weekly basis. Um, they have been going empty every week, sometimes quicker than seven days. Well, another opioids continue to plague Fort Wayne, but the Fort Wayne Police Department has a weapon to fight it. Individual doses of Narcan like this one have been put around the city to help those who have overdosed and the results so far have been extremely positive. The risk of death and overdose is so extreme right now that most things have fentanyl laced into it. So it's just very, very dangerous. Fentanyl has become a huge problem both nationwide and right here in Fort Wayne. Last year set a record for overdose deaths in Fort Wayne at 173, making it a big priority for the police department this year. And thanks to Narcan, they've got a weapon to fight overdoses. Anybody that has overdosed from uh, an opioid overdose, it basically stops them from breathing. Uh, so what Narcan does is it actually kicks all the opioids out of the opioid receptors in their brain and it allows that person to start breathing again, basically saving their life. When the Fort Wayne Medical Society Alliance found out how much of a difference Narcan can make, they reached out to Kevin Hunter with the Fort Wayne Police Department. Wanted to start putting some of these uh, Narcan boxes out in the community. With his help and his team's help, they help us locate it, all the hot spots in Fort Wayne. And the Narcan doses at these locations aren't just sitting in the emergency box. They're being used every single week. And we restock them on a weekly basis. Um, they have been going empty every week, sometimes quicker than seven days. And with the Fort Wayne Medical Society Alliance handing out about 80 doses of Narcan a week, the Fort Wayne Police Department has noticed a big difference. The effect of putting these all over the city is, has really been great. Uh, we are down 30% on non-fatal overdoses this time uh, from this year compared to last year. So that is a significant amount of, of overdose, overdoses being down. Now, your first weapon.